focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Asia. The largest and the most diverse continent. A home to the world's ancient cultures. A land that marks the birth of 10 major religions. A populous continent that represents the largest economies, including China, Japan, Singapore, India, South Korea, and Indonesia. Asia today is a landscape of some of the fastest growing cities in the world with economies driven by knowledge, innovation, technology and industrial investments. However, with growing trade and commerce in the global economy, another aspect that's making Asia a leader by all its force is its booming travel and tourism industry. From wide serene beaches, sleek skyscrapers, exotic cuisines, and some of the best luxury hotels in the world. It's not only becoming a must-visit destination for globetrotters, but also a gateway for the expansion of business travel in Asia. Well, we're sitting in the epicenter now of the travel and tourism industry, and it's gravitating east and south as we speak. Um, you take a large country like China, China will overtake the US as the single biggest travel and tourism economy in the next 10 years. So there are some amazing trends to watch. I guess one of the biggest ones is the, the infrastructure building that's going on across Asia uh, and the need to develop airports and develop hotel facilities and to develop in many countries road rail interfaces because that's one of the key things that we need to get right for the future development of the industry. Corporate travel in Asia is, is already very big, talking about a $400 billion dollar industry growing at a much faster pace than the rest of the planet. Uh, we, we project that in 10 years it's going to be half uh, you know, uh, the size of the total corporate travel spend in the world. And not only is it very big, uh, it is particular. Uh, we see in particular in the push of China and India economies a very new typology of corporate travel. Younger people traveling, traveling in different ways we a phenomenon of the business tourist. From an ultra-modern country like Japan to the emerging powerhouse of India, Asia is fast booming on the business travel front. And one of the leaders in this space is the vibrant, dynamic, culturally enriched city-state of Singapore that is often ranked as one of the top destinations not just for leisure but also for international business travel. Situated at the tip of the Malaysian Peninsula, Singapore has transformed itself into a growing knowledge-driven economy, leveraging its resources and expertise to attract business travellers. It offers a great blend of impeccable infrastructure and communications technology, attractive destinations, exotic cuisines for business travellers as well as visitors. You have uh, shopping, food, nice hotels, um, and it's very accessible uh, transport, it's very easily connected and I think Singapore being geographically is also very easy to connect to Bali, to Thailand. I think Singapore is a fantastic tourism hub for a number of reasons. It's certainly a leader in shopping tourism, medical tourism, education tourism, as well as leisure tourism, obviously with the casinos and all that. So we think on those four vectors, Singapore is one of the leading destinations in the Asian region for tourism. It's something that we're excited about as investors, obviously. With Asian markets growing exponentially and posing vast and relatively untapped opportunities, the region is up for a strong boom. Despite uncertainties in the global economic environment, the Asian business tourism sector has over the years demonstrated a strong and dynamic growth. To further cultivate a deeper understanding of Asia's travel and tourism industry, Singapore Tourism Board organized Asia's biggest travel and tourism festival, 
called Travel Rave 2014, a platform for business leaders and professionals in the travel and tourism industry to discuss, deliberate, share insights, network, and generate new business opportunities. Travel Rave is the region's premier travel and tourism week, gathering eminent leaders of Asia's travel industry to collaborate on new ideas and initiatives. For the region. If I am in a technology hotel conference, I only meet technical people, but they are not my normal clients. So to meet people in the travel industry and other type of industry is always important because you get completely other input and probably much more valid inputs. As the APAC travel market grows and as this event grows bigger and bigger, this just becomes a, you know, one of the most important platforms to attend if you're a, a leader in the travel industry in the Asia-Pacific region. On the other side, we find out how cutting-edge technology, best-in-class infrastructure and impeccable aviation services are becoming the drivers of change for the business of smart travel in Asia.